Welcome back to Net Generation Live. Before we start, I think some of you have siblings that are in the kitchen. Go grab them. I see you eating a cookie. Come join us. I think some of you have some grandparents, maybe some parents, aunts and uncles. You can grab them too. Anybody can join us right now for Net Generation Live. Before we start, let's check. Do you have your racket, your ball, a wall, and four objects? We won't use those until free play later, so you have some time to grab them. How was your week? Annie in Kansas, I heard you had a birthday. Happy birthday from Next Generation. All right, team, let's get moving. Rackets down, ball down. When I say go, you're going to skip. And then when I say tennis, I want to see a nice ready position. Are you ready? Skip with me. Tennis. Good. Skip. Tennis. Let's see. Can you skip forward and backwards? Tennis. What about to the side? Side's a little hard. Tennis. All right. One more. Skip. Tennis. All right. We're going into our warm up. So today we're doing a multi sport warm up. And remember, you can follow along with me on this side. So, I want to see your multi sport warm up right now. I'm going to pick three sports. Follow along with me. The first one, hockey. When I say go, we're going to act like we're skating on ice. Are you ready, Net Generation? 20 seconds. Think about your favorite hockey player. On your mark, get set. Go, we have 20 seconds. Keeping our eyes forward. I'm looking right into your eyes right now. Let's go, Next Generation. 10 more seconds. We got this. Let's go a little bit faster for the last five, four, three, two, one, zero. Give me that bump, Next Generation. Next sport, we're going into football. This is called the Heisman. We're gonna go one, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. 20 seconds. I'm gonna pretend I'm on the Pittsburgh Steelers. What team are you on? Show me, tell me. Ready? Favorite football team? Heisman. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, go. I'm on the Steelers. Let's go, Net Generation. 15 more seconds. We got it. Pick up the pace. You know it last seven seconds or so. We got it. Keep going. Woo. Nice job. We have one more sport. Soccer. I want you to grab your ball. And when I say go, we're going to do soccer taps. I don't know too much about soccer. Can you share with me your favorite soccer player? Here we go, 20 seconds, and go, soccer taps. You can move to your side. Let's keep going, Net Generation. 10 more seconds, as quick as you can. We got this. Oh, good job out there, I love it. I love the footwork. Oh, I'm out of breath, but you already know, we have one more time our power round. So remember, the power round, we're going for 10 seconds. We're working as hard as you can, all right? I'm gonna let you catch your breath. Why do you think we're doing a multi-sport warm-up? Do you know? That's right, because we have to be strong, we have to be athletic to play tennis, and playing multi-sports help us. Are you ready? 10 seconds, hockey players. Ready, go as quick as you can. We got it, Net Generation. We only have about five more seconds. You got it. All right, what sport's next? Football, ready, the Heisman, and go. We got it. I wanna know your football team. Keep going, three, two, one. Last one, soccer. We're gonna start, power round. Get through this last round, here we go. We're going in three, two, one. As hard as you can. We only have about five more seconds. Three, two, one. 
Give me that bump net generation. Nice job. All right. Grab your racket, grab some water, grab some water for me too. I definitely need it. Let's talk about the word of the day. Last week we talked about listening. This week we're talking about respect. What does respect mean to you? Oh, I like some of those answers. How do you show respect? Good, okay, so I show respect by sharing kindness with others, but also being kind to myself. Our skill last week, listening, I listen to others, but I can also respect equipment. I can respect my racket. I can respect things in my house. And last, I have to respect coaches, teachers, parents, guardians. So I want you to think about who you can respect in your home, on the playing field, in the classroom. Share that with me, all right? Let's get into our skills. First skill of today, we're gonna review what we did last week with our wall hits. So when I say go, you're working on that contact point out in front of you. Remember, you don't need a big swing because we're in a small space and our contact point is out in front of us. Are you ready, Net Generation? I heard you've been practicing Geronimo in Texas. I wanna see it, okay? Ready, 30 seconds, wall taps. Show me your ready, quick feet. Ready, and go. I'm gonna start with you out in front of us, right? Nice job. We got 20 more seconds. Let me check you out in that generation. Oh, you all have been practicing, I see it. Ella in Chicago, I love it. You're even throwing in some traps. Keep it up in that generation. You have 10 more seconds. I'm gonna join you. Little steps. We got five more seconds. Good job. Nice. All right, I'm gonna make this a little bit harder now. I'm gonna, I want you to include a split step. So to practice a split step, when I drop the ball and it bounces, I want you to show me a split step. You split step when your partner hits the ball. So ready, let's practice. The ball bounces, you're gonna split step. Are you ready? Nice job, do it again. Split, one more time. Split, I'm just joking, we got a couple more, go. All right, we're gonna add a split step now to your wall hit. So if you're hitting with a partner, when your partner hits, you split step and you get ready. If you're hitting against the wall like I am, when the ball hits the wall, that's hard to say, you're gonna split step. You ready, Net Generation? No, I can't hear you. Are you ready, Net Generation? That's better, here we go. 20 seconds, maybe 30, we'll see how I do. Ready, go. Split, split, split. So you split and then you do little steps around the ball. Let me watch you. Keep working hard, Net Generation. Hard work pays off, right, Dad? That's what my dad used to tell me. I think he's even watching. Keep going, Net Generation. About 10 more seconds, I want you to work on these split steps. It's gonna make you a better player. You're gonna be more prepared for that ball. Give me five, four, three, two, one. You already know it, throw me a bump, Net Generation. Maybe some of you can teach me a new handshake. Throw that in the comments. Do you wanna do bumps? Do you wanna do high fives? You tell me, okay? New skill alert, are you ready? We're gonna learn a continental grip for our volley. So important we learn this grip. It's gonna make us a better tennis player. I wish I learned this when I was younger. So, I'm gonna take my racket and I'm gonna hold it in my left hand because I play with my right. I'm gonna slide my right hand down the frame of the racket. Some people like to say it's like a hammer. I actually like to think I'm riding a bike. Do you like to ride bikes? You gotta tell me. So, hammer grip, bike grip, continental grip. When I say go, you're gonna practice a self volley. Just like that. So the ball doesn't bounce. If you already know how to volley, I wanna see if you can hit some backspin on the ball. That means your bottom edge is coming through first. You ready? Let's go 20 seconds. 
self volley. Go for it. Good job. I'm checking those grips. I see you, net generation. Come on, check those grips for me. We have 10 more seconds. Good job. Five more seconds. Keep those grips. Nice job. Let's do a grip check together. Sometimes when we're learning this grip, our grip tends to move. That's okay. That's why we're practicing. So let's do a grip check. Show me your grip. Can you put your racket down just like this? Good, I'm checking it. Rob in North Carolina, I love that you're double checking it. Keep that up. All right, second phase of continental volley. Ready? You're gonna hit it off the wall and trap it, okay? That's level one. If you are ready to keep it going, I wanna see if you can volley two, maybe three in a row. You decide, ready, go. So same thing, you don't need a big swing. We're closer to that net maybe, I'm closer to my wall, and I'm just tapping it. Keep it going, we have about eight more seconds. Nice, three, two, one. You know, I'm coaching myself again because sometimes my racket comes down. So the next round, I want you to keep your racket up we're gonna volley one more time. Are you ready, Net Generation? Grip check, let me see. Nice, I love that you're checking your own grips. All right, Jariah, you count us down. I'll help you out too so all of our friends can hear. Ready, Jariah? Three, two, one. Good, I'm gonna keep watching you, Net Generation. You got it. Keep checking those grips, it's okay to stop and check your grip. Let's go. 10 more seconds, keep it going. Nice job. Keeping those rackets up. You got it, that generation. Three, two, one. I might have lost track of time, but more practice is quite okay. Last round of practice, what I want you to do, you're gonna count how many volleys you get. If you miss, that's fine, keep counting. You ready? And go, 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me keep watching you, Net Generation. You have 20 more seconds. I love those grip checks. Keep checking it. Keep going. You got it. I'll join you back in. We have about 10 more seconds. Whoa, three. I got you. Three, two, one, give me a high five this time, Net Generation. Good job. All right, you know what time it is. It's game time. So respect is going to come back into play now. So I want you to respect the rules of the game. The game is called Jax. So I do have to give a shout out because one of my favorite people, his name is Jax. So Jax and Layla, I'm definitely watching your grips, okay? So Jax looks like this. Onesie, twosies. What comes after twosies? Threesies, you're right. One, two, three, threesies. Now, some of you might be thinking you can get all the way up to tensies, maybe twensies, I don't even know if that's a word, without missing. But what, I want you to respect the game. This will give you more practice. Are you ready? First round, we're going for one minute. You're doing volleys. Show me those grips. Grip check, net generation. Ready, one minute. Get set and go. Onesies. You can say it out loud. Twosies. Threesies. Forsies. I'm gonna let you go. I'm not gonna keep talking out loud. I want you to focus. Remember, hard work pays off in that generation. Keep checking those grips. Nice, Julia and Denver, I see you looking at your grip. Way to stop, slow down, good check. You got this, net generation. About 30 seconds to go, just under. I'm gonna join you again. Forsies. Oh, I missed, that's okay. I think I'm on fivesies. It's hard to keep track 
and talk. Keep going, that generation. 10 more seconds. You got this. Keep going. You have five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, net generation. All right, second round of jacks. Are you ready? We're gonna work on that split step. Onesies and twosies again. So it will look like this. Onesies. Twosies. You decide how far you can go respecting the game of jacks. Show me you're ready. A little split step. We're going in three, two, one. Onesies. Twosies. One, two, threesies. Keep counting out loud. It helps you to keep track. Come on, that generation. You got this. One, two, three, four, fivesies. I might have missed foursies. Keep going, that generation. You have 30 more seconds. Keep those feet. Remember, you're split stepping when your partner or your wall hits. I know it's hard work. Your heart should be pumping. Keep going, it's gonna make you more prepared for that ball. Just around 15 more seconds, you got it, net generation. Keep going. You have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna trick you this time, net generation, give me an elbow. Again, I told you I need some new handshakes. Share that with me in the comments, okay? But no, elbow, high five, bump. You did great, you worked really hard. What time is it now? Can you tell me? That's right, it's free play. I'm gonna bring my objects into free play. And remember, free play allows you to create your own rules of the game. I mean, I have a pot and a football. What do you have? Show me your objects, okay, Net Generation? But when I say go, we have two minutes. You can create your own activity. Are you ready? Show me those objects. Wave your pots around. Wave your toilet paper around. Let me see. All right, two minutes. You make up your game. You make up your skills. I want to see it, okay? Ready? And go. Let me see if I can do it. Whoa, not that good there. That's hard. The pot's heavy. Maybe I should choke up. I got it. Whoa, nice. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get it in the pot. My buddy, Carl, told me he used his objects to hit it over. I'm gonna see if I can get it to land in my pot today. It's gonna be really hard. Maybe I should move it closer. What are you doing over there, Net Generation? Oh, I hit it. Did you hit any of your targets? I know some of you last week joined me in basketball and showing me other sports. Let's see what you got. Oh, I like that. Danny and Phoenix, you're using your handle to hit. That looks so cool. Are you a baseball player? Pretty good. I see some soccer players coming back in. You're kicking it. Nice job, Net Generation. All right, let me come back. I gotta see if I can make up and get it in my pot. Oh, I hit it again. Oh, this is so hard. I see a lot of you doing this, okay? If you have a trick and a secret that I need to know, please tell me. We have just over 30 more seconds of free play. We got this, Net Generation. I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna see if I can get it in my square. Maybe I'll be better at this. Just because it's hard and I'm not successful though, I gotta keep going, okay, Net Generation? 30 seconds right now, okay? Keep it going. Let's see if I can go back to my pot. I'm gonna choke up so it's not as heavy. Oh, look what grip I'm using, a continental grip. How about that? Come on, Net Generation. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'll give you a high five with my pot. Nice job, Net Generation. All right, move your objects off to your side. We got one more game to play. We're going back to Jack's. You call it. Are you doing a volley or are you doing ground strokes? 
You decide, go. 40 seconds. Onesies. Twosies. Maybe I'll throw in some volleys. One, two, threesies. Let me see what you have, Net Generation. Just over 20 seconds. Keep working hard. We got this together. I love that I'm seeing grip checks. Keep it up, Dominic. I see you in Florida. Keep it going. Net Generation, 15 more seconds. I'll join you for 60s. One, two, three, four, five, sixties. You have five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, Net Generation. All right, I'm sweating. You're drinking water for both of us. Let's do a quick recap of the day. We started off with a multi-sport warm-up. Remember, playing multiple sports helps you to become a better tennis player. So keep playing soccer, keep playing basketball, keep playing baseball. We want you to do it all. Next, we reviewed our wall hits, so our contact point, and we added that split step. When do we split step again? That's right, when our partner hits the ball. It makes us more prepared. Next, we did our forehand volley. Our continental grip helped us on our forehand volley. I want you to practice that for next week. So find that handshake, find that hammer, or your bike, okay? Next, we played jacks and then free play. I wanna see how you're playing free play. So if you share a picture, make sure you do hashtag NetGenerationLive. We'll find you. I'll definitely find you. I'll see you next week. Before we go, let's put our hands in the middle. On three, net generation. One, two, three, net generation. I'll see you next week.